Descript quietly just rolled out a feature that lets you make over a hundred layouts for your brand with just a few clicks. Let me show you how it works. To make these layouts, we're starting off on the home screen here. First, come over to the Layout Packs tab over here on the left, click on that. And here's a list of all your different layouts. We're gonna to go to the new Layout Pack button in the top right corner, click on that, and click on this one that says Remix Gallery Layout Pack. Click on that. And as you can see here, it says 122 layouts. So what these are is Descript's default layout packs. And they have this dark mode one, they have this light mode one, and then they have all these other options like Berlin Carrot, Helsinki Blue, etc. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna use my own brand, Descript Mastery. I'm gonna use my fonts, my colors, and I'm gonna start with the Descript light pack. So I'm gonna click on that. And once again, it's gonna make 122 layouts based off of this Descript light pack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is choose my colors. Right now, there's primary text color, accent text, and background colors. They're set to black, black, and white. I'm gonna change this to my colors. So I'm gonna click on this black dot, and I could drop in a hex code. I could use this scroll bar to go through yellow, green, blue, purple, red, like that. And then to further refine it, once I've selected red down here, I could select a more specific shade up above, and I'm just clicking and dragging through this swatch to find the shade that I want. And you can also change the transparency using this slider below the color swatch. Or the other way is you can click on this little eyedropper and you could find a specific pixel on, for example, your logo or your website. And you would just hover over that pixel of color and it would use that. So that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull up my logo and find specific shades off of my logo. So there we go, there's my logo. I'm gonna click on this eyedropper and then I'm gonna hover over my logo there. It's a little bit hard to find when it's so big. And I'm gonna find a shade of purple. And you can see it replaced the hex code with the pixel at that point of click. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go to the accent text. I'm gonna get the eyedropper again. And I'm gonna find a shade of blue. Close that. And the background I'll keep as white. And actually that's a slightly off white. And maybe I'll make it just a little bit darker. I'm just gonna go a little bit more towards gray by dragging this down. Okay, so there we go. There's my three colors. The next thing I'm gonna do is set my font. So it defaults to Kalis. This is like the standard Descript font. And to change this, I'm just gonna click on the word Kalis and I can scroll through here and choose any of Descript's fonts. So I'm gonna go with man rope and then for subtitle and again that's my title that's going to be my biggest text subtitle i'm going to go with dm sans and then for text i'm actually going to use josephina sans and then i can give this a name so i'm going to call this descript mastery layouts and the last option you have here is sharing do you want to share it with your drive meaning you and all editors in your drive can access it do you wanna make it private, meaning only you can access it? Or do you wanna make it public, meaning anyone could use this link and use your layouts? Once you've got all that set, hit Create Layout Pack. And it says in the bottom right corner, Creating Layout Pack. And it says Layout Pack Created. So the last thing we'll need to do is scroll down. And all of these, by the way, are categories. There should be little previews of what these packs are, but for some reason they haven't loaded yet and it says down here they're generating those layout pack previews. That's gonna take a little bit of time, but I don't have to wait for that. I can hit save layout pack now, and it's done. If I scroll down to the bottom of my list here, there they are, Descript Mastery Layouts. And if you click on it, it opens up this layout pack in the editing mode. And so the way that this works is layouts are definitely more advanced. So if you, don't, if you can't track everything I'm about to show you, Check out my other videos on this channel. I break down how projects versus compositions work and how layout editing works. But if I click on this thing that says camera landscape, you have here different folders. So there's a, there's a category called camera. These are layouts that affect camera views. And then inside of that folder are different compositions for different aspect ratios. So camera landscape, camera portrait, camera square, and inside of camera landscape, for example, this was the first one that opened up, there's three different scenes. 
And each of these scenes are gonna do different things to my video. So the first scene is just a zoomed out full portrait view. The next scene is slightly more zoomed in. And the third scene is a close crop of the face. So that when you apply this landscape is what it would do to my video. Now let's go down to another one. Let's go to the titles folder, for example, and let's look at our intros. So these are different possible intros that you could use in your project. And what I wanna point out here is remember that I set my background as that light gray. So there it is. And then I set my title font as man rope. There it is. And I use this shade of purple as my color. So there's my, my man rope title. And then there's my DM sans subtitle still with the same shade of purple. And I could scroll through these different scenes and this is how they look. So each of these you could apply to your project and just drop it in for a really quick plug and play intro screen. And if I switch to an outro here, same thing the gray background with the purple text. And if I go to a speaker layout, for example, it looks like this. It, it made my gradient, the gradient across the bottom into that shade of purple that I told it to. And then there's the speaker name, speaker title with the fonts that I specified. So there you have it, 122 Descript layouts ready to go out of the box with just a few clicks of your mouse. If you're confused about layouts though, and you wanna know more about how to use them, Click on this video next where I go even deeper into layouts.